Best OBS setup suitable for streaming on Twitch, Kik, YouTube and any platform you want very fast. Let's start it opening OBS. Then hit the file button and settings here. In general tab is the only one important thing for us is source alignment snapping. Sometimes we have to enable this or unable, just keep in mind. And as for the rest of the settings in general tab, none of this will affect your stream quality or make any important things. So we're gonna head over to the stream tab here. This is where you're going to set up where you're streaming to. I want to stream to Twitch. Obviously I need to select Twitch here. Also make sure about this checkbox is on, ignore streaming service settings recommendations. So I will connect my account. You can use Twitch chat add-ons for your stream, but it is not important for beginners. And now by moving the chat and stream information, we can stick it to OBS. Let's go back to the settings and output tab. Switch output mode to advanced. We don't touch audio track and Twitch VOD track. I have audio encoder FFmpeg AAC. Video encoder is NVIDIA NVENC H.264. Make sure you are not using X264 encoder, because it is for dual PC streaming setup. If you are using AMD graphic card, you should use AMD encoder, like this. We are not using rescale output. Rate control is constant bitrate. Rate is 8000. If the stream is interrupted, then set it to 6. K frame interval is 2 seconds and preset depends on your graphic card. I recommend to use P5, P6 and P7. Tuning you may always leave it at high quality. Multipass mode I recommend to use 2 passes quarter resolution because it's not much different from full. Full resolution requires more power of your video card. Profile is better to leave always high, look ahead always turn it off and psycho visual tuning is turn it on. GPU 0 frames 2. On the recording tab is one important thing is recording format. I recommend to use MP4 because it's suitable for Adobe Premiere and other video software. Heading on over to the audio tab. Desktop audio I recommend to use default. And uh, here it all depends on what uh, devices you are using. I use a microphone connected to Go XLR. So I choose uh, Go XLR. Moving further to the video tab. And even though that my resolution of my monitor is 2K, I choose uh, 1920 by 1080 because it's suitable for Twitch. It also doesn't overload my graphic card. Base resolution and output resolution is the same, so downscale filter is not working and uh, common FPS values is 60. There is nothing you need to do at hotcase tab as a beginner and uh, accessibility. In advanced tab make sure the process priority is normal. On this tab all default settings works correctly so you don't need to change anything. So I want to start streaming and I have to fill all this information what uh, Twitch wants from us. I will stream Blaze Famous 2, so I choosing a Blaze Famous 2 category. Uh, we can uh, add some text, stream language. Here at the sources panel I have to add a game capture source. Just click here OK and here. And now when I launch the game it will appear in OBS. The game appears and it's time to hit start streaming. The game appeared in OBS and appeared on the stream, so everything is works well. There is a link in the description below. In my Discord server you can get free and paid overlay packages for streaming. Overlay packages are very comprehensive and suitable for beginners as they are very easy to customize. By purchasing you will support me as a creator and receive support for the package you purchased. Thanks for watching and have a nice day!